Good evening. Uh, my name is Sean Canale, and uh, unfortunately, Open House is going to be virtual again. I know that you guys get, you guys look forward to meeting all the teachers. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to put my face out there so you can see what your children see every day, unmask. Um, so my name is Sean Canale, and what I'm going to do with this video is I'm going to go through my syllabus and the expectations and um, the grading process. So I'm gonna share my screen with you right now. And I'm going to kind of go along with it, kind of summarize the syllabus for you. So there's my name, um, the class periods that I teach, I teach first, second, third, and seventh period. First, third, and seventh are my math regular students, and second is my accelerated class. There is my email address if you ever need to get a hold of me. I also um, use talking points to contact parents. By now, you should have gotten received one, at least one message from me on talking points. Some of you have received more than one, but you will receive more as the year goes on. So I just wanted to go through this little um, blurb here that I put on the front of the syllabus. Welcome to the start of a new school year at Clyde Savannah Junior High School. So yes, we are back to being a junior high school. For many years, we were a middle school and now we're back to being a junior high school. I'm very excited to teach seventh grade this year. Um, this is my second stint, if you want to say, at teaching seventh grade. I've been teaching seventh grade now for, I think this is my seventh year. When I first got hired at Clyde Savannah, I taught junior high, and then I went up to high school, and now I've been back to the junior high for seven years now. Um, I run a well-disciplined student-centered classroom that promotes positive learning for all students. All students will have an equal opportunity to learn in my classroom, okay? Um, I also tell the students that math is everywhere in life, and that's something that I, I harp on a lot in this class, is that math is everywhere. They don't see it sometimes, but it is everywhere. So here are the learning objectives for the year. Um, by the end of the school year, I expect all my students to be able to analyze proportional relationships, proportions, fractions. Um, that is a large part of the content for this seventh grade curriculum. Um, equivalent expressions, taking expressions, making variables into numbers. That is another huge part of the curriculum solving equations and inequalities, uh, real life problems. Students need to understand that math is in the real life. It's not just in math class. And that's what we try and do in this, in this room, in this curriculum. Um, the, the supplies that are required for my class, a notebook or a binder, as long as there's paper for notes and examples. Um, I prefer pencils, but I'm not gonna tell a kid they can't take notes if they bring a pen. Um, and their laptop with a charger or that their laptop is charged. Uh, the expectations that there's no cell phones in my classroom, that everyone is treated with respect. And that goes along with me, the other students themselves, Okay, uh, that's a huge thing. Um, everyone must stay seated in a safe distance. You know, COVID is, it's kind of ramping up. So uh, we still gotta keep our students safe. Um, keep their masks on the entire time, unless they need a mask break, obviously, you know, that's obviously gonna be allowed but they can't, they can't leave it down for a long time. And the students have been great with that. You know, they'll ask if they can take it down and I'll say, sure. And then after a little while, I'll ask them to put it back up and they're great about it. So I hope that that continues. Um, there are gonna be work uh, warm up problems that they start out with. 
and then there's teacher drafted notes. And then if time allows, they start their homework on Delta math. And we'll get to what Delta math is in just a moment. So grades are earned, not given. Turning your best work in possible on time are always ways to improve one's math grade, okay? Uh, your grade is calculated by the following. Homework and classwork is the biggest chunk in, for my grading. Most assignments are found on Delta Math and the students have all signed up for Delta Math. They all have an account. It's a digital form of doing math work. Um, homework will be assigned almost every single day. Please be sure that they keep up on their assignments and that they keep up on their assignments so they don't fall behind. Uh, tests and quizzes, that's a 20% chunk of their grade. They're given at certain checkpoints or to check on progress or at the end of a certain unit. Um, so that's it for math seven, um, please feel free if you ever have any questions to um, contact me through my email or call the school and they will you know, tell me that there was a message by a certain parent. I'll fe feel free to answer any questions you that you have. Um, I look forward to working with your students. I've already worked with them for almost a month now and it's been quite enjoyable, and I hope that that continues. Thanks. Bye.